Muslims, this isn't just about Gaza. This isn't just about one place, one time, one peoples. No. It is as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is using Gaza as a beautiful catalyst for the rest of us all. Gaza is sparking iman in all of our hearts. Gaza is rekindling a love of the ummah and a love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and a love of our ideals. That's what is happening. Because you know what? Even if Gaza were to be solved tomorrow, we still have duties and responsibilities. We still have a higher purpose of living. We still have to excel in achieving our purpose in this life. And what is our purpose? Our purpose is very clear. So that you may bear witness unto mankind. You may preach the truth, you may live the truth, you may embody the truth, you may invite others to the true message of our faith. That's what our role is. And so, Gaza, and let's go on, it's not just about Gaza, what's happening in Sudan, what's happening amongst the Uyghurs, what's happening in Burma, what's happening in Kashmir. All of these causes, and even more. I stand here today and 25 years have gone, and Guantanamo is still open as we speak. 24 years have gone and Guantanamo is still open. It's not a matter of one cause and that's it. No, what these causes do is they remind us, they provoke us, they force us out of our comfort zones. Allah did not create us to live like animals, to eat, to drink, to be merry and to die. No, we have a higher purpose. And these causes, they remind us of that higher purpose. They remind us of nobility. They remind us that we have a mission to accomplish. And that mission is to be role models to the rest of mankind. To show people what it means to be a believer in La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. What happens when you believe in the Quran? What happens when you walk in the path of the prophets? Our lives have to embody those values. And the people around us, they need to see what me what that implies they need to see the changes that happen our mission therefore will not stop even if one problem is solved even if another problem is solved because problems will continue to arise believe you me ask anybody older than you do you really think problems will stop after we solve one of them no constantly issues will happen around the globe in our personal lives domestically and such is this world such is this dunya this dunya is meant to be full of problems so that we continue to solve them we continue to try to make the world a better place but our ultimate destination is not this world this world is not the ultimate abode of peace that's ahead of us that's in Jannah we try to make this world as peaceful as possible but the actual peace will come in the next. And the better job we do in this world, the better we will achieve peace in the next. That's our goal. Once you understand this, O Muslims, don't be disheartened if you don't see an impact in your own efforts of what you do. Because that's not how Allah will judge you. Don't become disheartened, disillusioned. Don't lose your hope or your spirit if you keep on trying and trying and trying and you don't see any change. Maybe, just maybe, we might not see change for weeks or months or years. We still have to continue putting in the effort. We still have to continue persevering, pushing on, doing whatever we can do. And there's so much we can do. There's so much we can do. I've said here before, and I'll say it again. In the entire globe of 1.7 Muslims, 1.7 billion Muslims, we as American Muslims, us 5 million American Muslims, we are the only American Muslim community, we're the only global Muslim community that can effect change from within the American superpower. We have to effect that change. We have to effect that change. We have to understand we are worth hundreds if not thousands of other Muslims around the world in this one aspect and that is the impact we can cause. Allah has tested us, Allah has blessed us, Allah has chosen us that this is our land. And our land is involved in a heinous crime. Our land is involved in a genocide. Our president is enabling that genocide. Our tax dollars are being spent to kill innocent people. 
You cannot and you should not be silent. You must stand up. You must do your best to fight against that. You must raise your voice. You must protest. You must impact. This is what we must do. There are no two opinions about this. Oh Muslims, make sure that you make it your priority. You make it your priority that people know that you are not going to tolerate this. Not under my watch. We're not going to let this administration get away with what it has done. We're not going to let our country continue to kowtow to another regime, another apartheid state. And you know what? You can even ignore all of the politics and all of the religious issues and just tell your fellow Americans, our tax dollars should be spent within our country. Simple as that. Let's take care of our own health care. Let's take care of our own crises. You know, somebody calculated, somebody calculated that if we were to take just one or two years of our foreign aid to Israel and we were to solve our homelessness problem, we would not have a single homeless person in all of America. Even if somebody doesn't know anything about foreign politics, just say to them, would you rather solve homelessness or continue giving aid to a foreign country? It's that simple. Wallahi, it's not complicated. Keep on persevering, raising these points. And you know the irony is, subhanAllah, sometimes those whom we don't like, they hand us talking points. They hand us what we should do. You know, our president and others lied about the 40 babies that were decapitated. They said there's video footage of that. There's not a single video footage. But you know what there is video footage of? IDF soldiers themselves videotaping themselves as they manhandle Palestinians, as they make fun of dead Palestinian children, as they play with the toys of the children they just killed, as they, as they look at the private garments of the women that they've expelled from their houses. They have video footage of that. They're showing it to us and for the world to see. It's our job to amplify those voices. It's our job to keep on retweeting and showing the reality.